Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another amazing video from Team Supreme Gamers. I'm your host Ghostface, and today I'm going to teach you how you can multi-boot Phoenix OS using Refind in Windows. Refind is an alternative bootloader to Grub to Win, and it's very easy to use so you won't get any installation errors or boot manager errors that many people complain about in Grub to Win. So before we start, please note that Refind is an EFI bootloader, that means it doesn't work on legacy MBR systems. I'm going to make a separate video for legacy users and what they can use as an alternative to grub to win along with some troubleshooting tips for users who mess up their partitions and windows in the process of installation. So just subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever a video is released. Now let's begin the installation process. First of all, you need to download and install Easy UFI in your system and then download the Refind modded by night for Windows users. Links of both are given in the description. Okay, now just open the Refine zip that you've downloaded and extract it to your C drive. And then browse to Refine folder using the Windows Explorer. Here we just need to edit this Refine.com file because it stores all the Refine configurations, including the boot entries. Just scroll to the bottom and you'll find the Dark Matter boot entry. Just modify it according to your current installation. Put your Phoenix OS drive name in volume. And as you can see here, I have all the files stored on my root drive, not inside any folder, so I'll just remove these slash POS tags from the entry. If you face any error like this on first boot, that means your grub entry is not correct and you need to double check your volume name and other boot entries. Now just save the file and uninstall grub to win if you have it installed on your system. You can use both of them side by side, but I don't recommend using both since they do the same job. After this, we just need to open Easy UFI, and if you are using a patched version of it, then always turn off your internet before launching it. Now just go to Manage EFI System, then click on EFI System Partition Explorer, and choose your FAT32 partition and click Open. Here you can see this small explorer window that we'll use to upload our refined files. Just right click on Root and select Upload. Now, just browse to your C drive where you've extracted your Refine folder, select it, and click OK to upload. Do not upload this Refine folder inside of EFI or any other folder because it won't work. Keep it in your root drive. Click OK to exit, and now come to the home page and click Manage EFI Options. So now we need to make a boot entry for Refine folder that we just uploaded. Click on the small plus button and select the type to Linux or other OS and put Refind in the description. Select that FAT32 EFI partition again and click the browse button at the bottom. Here you can choose Refind slash underscore x64.efi or Refind slash underscore ia32.efi if the x64 version doesn't boot for you. Click O to K to save changes and come back to EFI boot options. Now just press that small up button and put Refine on top of all other boot entries. This will set Refine as your default bootloader. Now just exit the program. If you want to make any changes in your Refine configuration or add new boot entries in the Refine boot configuration, then just delete your current Refine.comp file from here and then right click on Refine folder and choose Upload to upload new updated files from your C drive. Click OK to save the changes and you don't need to change anything in Manage EFI Boot Options. Now all you need to do is to reboot into your system BIOS settings and set Refine as the default bootloader. The step is not necessary, but some BIOSes will override system boot configurations because they don't get changed from Windows. Just put the Refine above all other boot entries and save changes and exit.
So now you can see here that we've successfully booted into the Refined Bootloader. The UI is similar to Grub2Win, but it's better, and you can customize and apply many things to it. You can find more about those on the Refined website. I'll leave this experimental part to you. Just keep in mind that all themes are made for Linux and not Windows. So that's all from me guys. Take care of yourself, stay home, stay safe, and do meditation or other exercises to keep yourself safe and healthy. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more cool videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I'm your host Ghostface, and I'll catch you in the next one.